Hello, my name is Jonathan Walker. I'm a PA with Dr. Starrett's practice at Vail Summit Orthopedics. Um, we're just going to do a quick video and show you what our knee dressing changes look like. Um, a lot of times we try to see our patients after surgery and PT, um, but that doesn't always work out for everybody. So if, if we sent you home with a little bag of, uh, of dressing change materials, um, then we'll walk you through now what, what that's going to look like doing the day after surgery. So um, we will, you'll typically have your knee wrapped with an ACE bandage. Um, Ryan here has the ACE bandage on without a whole lot of the other padding underneath, but, um, but it'll be easy enough for you to understand. Um, the day after surgery, you can go ahead and take down all of the dressing. So just unwrap the ACE bandage like that. And, uh, and then there'll be a, another wrap that's usually white, um, uh, What's it called again? Web rail. Web rail. Um, and then you'll have some four by fours uh, and sometimes a little yellow gauze that's on top of each incision. And then you'll have steri strips on the skin. You take everything down until you get to the steri strips. And then those you want to leave in place for the first two weeks after surgery. So you want to take all of that down. You likely will have some swelling. Sometimes you'll see a little bleeding on the steri strips um, and sometimes even some bruising around the knee. That can all be normal. That's nothing to be too concerned about. Um, but each time you change the dressing, you just do want to look and make sure that it's not too hot, that you haven't noticed any big increase in redness or um, especially any drainage from the, uh, from the incisions. Again, like I said, a little bleeding in that first day or so is okay, but no other drainage. Um, we'll send you home with a whole box of 4x4s. Um, these are just normal gauze that you can get at any pharmacy. So if you run out, you can go grab a few more. Um, and all you have to do is open up a couple, just enough to cover each incision. And it's really just there to kind of... Uh, to kind of keep everything dry, keep it from leaking on your clothes or anything if it does bleed a little bit at the beginning. But you cover each incision and then we'll give you two of these little tubi grips that will pull up and hold everything in place. I like to kind of fold it in on itself like this and then it makes it a little easier to unfold. But you pull that up and you go straight over the foot and come all the way up to the dressing and then you can unfold it over the rest um, and just uh, pack that in as, as best you can. You want to get it nice and flat so that it's comfortable but there's no big trick to it. Whatever feels good is fine and it's just to, just to keep everything covered um, for those first two weeks. The other thing that we always talk about at the dressing changes is, is bathing. So you do want to keep it dry um, some of the pharmacies will sell like a shower bag or you can use a piece of plastic and some tape, but um, go just above the dressing um, and keep that leg dry when you shower. And then just check on it afterwards. If, if the dressing is a little damp, that's okay. Just go ahead and change it out and get a fresh dressing on there um, and you'll do fine. Uh, hopefully that answers some of the questions you might have, but definitely feel free to reach out to us if you, if you have any other concerns after surgery, okay? You guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.